Prince Fleece as white as snow. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers? Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? This is what happens when you design a code book in summer camp. I'm being called up. My country needs me. Yep. So where are we going? The Middle East. Russia. China. Downtown Seattle. Admission papers. Hat. What hat? Seattle Seahawks. They're her favorite football team. You know, it's an icebreaker. A conversation starter. Look, that guy has a bird on his head. Guys! No, it, it looks good. <clears throat> Sir, I just apprehended a trespasser on the premises, and uh, it was a bit of a struggle. What's your name? Rosie Chuck. Rosie Chuck. Come here, Rosie Chuck. You know, you've just apprehended the most important kid in America! Now, this is a CIA get out of trouble watch. See a silver button? Mm -hmm. Be very careful with this little silver button, okay? Because it'll just make people go. <laughs> Wait, uh, what was that? <laughs> Wait, one more time. I. Think oh, what? I don't even want to know. I gotta go. Not so fast. Check it out. Come on, give it back. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, if you're gonna go ahead and keep my watch, just promise me you won't touch that silver button right there. That silver button? Yeah, just don't touch it. It's really Don't touch it. I won't touch the silver button. Touch it. This isn't exactly what I had in mind when I signed on to the CIA. Yeah, join the club. I didn't think I'd be shepherding teenagers. You know, maybe you should try decaf. <laughs> Your homework to your satisfaction? Yeah. Your room is nice and tidy? Mm hmm. Oh, that wasn't me. No, that's not what I think. Oh. Ow! Ow! Get out! Everybody out! One of our most impressive agents lives not far from Natalie Connors. Smart, resourceful, and according to my reports, he's quite a lady killer. Do Hey, Cody. Hey, pretty lady. What's going on? Uh, um... I, 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 are those books? Um, yeah. Oh, I love books. I could read all day. Love them. Great. Then you're in the right place. How are you doing? <laughs> I, I love horses. I think their hair thing is really cool. What a freak. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Who is this? Group five, yellow set. You're not gonna propose to me, are you? No, I'm just hiding from the camera. Oh. <sighs> this mission is screwed. We've spent ten million dollars training this kid, and we did not teach him how to talk to a girl! I understand you're having a problem with women, son, so I've uh, assembled a team of experts here to sort of help you along from the point of contact to the point of closure. You gotta close, Cody. Any species is predicated upon mating. The males and the females must couple or the animal will surely die off. Look, I'm just trying to get a first date. Well, let me tell you how the hyena does it. You see this thing here? There's a lot of laughing involved. 
tell you, it makes you want to give the good Lord a standing ovation. You just want to go, woo! First, you got to let her know she looks fresh. Pay her compliments about her hair and her dress. You got to be smart. Get some dirt on her. They can think out of both sides of their brain at one time, emotion and intellect. Check out her previous boyfriend. You got to pick her up. Don't be late. It's a very bad way to start off a first date. And remember, shower before seeing the girl. No, 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 no. You want to be dank and dusky and musky. It's all smell. She's got to smell you like a wild animal, like the cheetah or the chip. Me. Has me oh, remember, right. kid? If you find yourself in a difficult no, position, no, hang on. I ride it out. Pull up and get your energy back. You're going push. They think like a hyena. To be a hyena. Remember, in the fog of war, it's the one who wants it the most that comes out on top. Straighten up when I talk to you. You're nothing but a pathetic mama. Get off. I'm sorry this happened.